In yet another mass shooting in KwaZulu-Natal, six people have been shot dead and another injured in Umlazi's Q section. Police in the province have launched a massive manhunt for four armed men believed to be behind last night's shooting. Now, two weeks ago, you remember, four men were gunned down near a taxi rank in Port Shepston. For more on this latest mass shooting, let's go to ENCA's Latiwi Imdluli, who joins us live from there. Um, news coming, starting to come in thick and fast from the police, Latiwi. Uh, what have you been able to, to put together about what transpired in this latest mass shooting? Well, Marcel, at the moment we are in Umlazi and we've managed to find some of the families um, that lost their loved ones uh, yesterday. But unfortunately, we were not welcomed in the community. We have been told that we should move away. And so right now we have found another place where we can um, conduct this investigation. But what we do know for now is that six people were shot and killed um, at Q section, which is not so far from here. And um, in speaking to the police, spokesperson um, here in KwaZulu Natal he is saying that these shootings were related because we have found out that they happened in three different homes um, we do know that one person has survived the shooting but they are in hospital and they are in a critical condition um, we don't know the motive of the shooting or behind the shooting but we do know from the police that one of the people that was shot last night had an ID document of one of the suspects who was leading the shooting shooting at the moment no one has been arrested but the police are um, currently um, searching for the four suspects we do understand that three of the suspects have been identified but um, no one at the stage has been arrested we will be getting more information from the police spokesperson, spokesperson who's actually heading to Umlazi to get more information as to actually what happened and also the motive behind the shooting but I just want to add that Umlazi is one of those places that is is regarded, regarded as a hotspot area for crime in KwaZulu-Natal. Um, the police statistics do show that more murders are committed in this township and the police have said before that this is one of the trouble areas that they've been dealing with um, for, the, for, for, for a couple of years. And as you mentioned, Marcel, um, just two weeks ago there was another shooting that took place in Port Chapstin, which is in the south coast of KwaZulu-Natal. So um, over the past few months we have been um, experiencing um, an increase in the number of mass shooting or mass shootings rather here in KwaZulu Natal and the police are saying that they are working together with communities to try and bring down the number of people who are out there with guns and also the criminals um, that are roaming our streets but we will be speaking to the police just to find out more information about the shooting that took place here last night in Umlazi. Um, uh, Latiwi, you uh, mentioned right at the start that you and the team were not welcome to do your reporting or to interview anybody officially uh, in the community where the shooting took place. I imagine that means that this community is quite tense, quite anxious and quite fearful at this time. Yes, Marcel, I did manage to speak to one of the family members and they are saying that at this time um, they are quite scared of what happened because they were there when these shootings were taking place. And they are saying that for now they don't want to be speaking to the media or anyone until someone is arrested. And as I mentioned, three of the people have been identified. And when we also spoke to another family member, they did mention that at the moment um, they are still coming to terms with what happened and dealing with the situation because unfortunately they witness everything so for now a lot of um, the families that are involved because we have found out that it's, it's three different families they are just asking for some privacy um, the community of course um, they are on edge because at the moment no one has been arrested so um, they did just ask us to leave so that they can deal with this for now as a community and also as families as well Okay, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for that update. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, a developing story that Latiwi Mdluli is trying to get to the bottom to of, um, and she's reporting to us live there from Umlazi in um, KwaZulu-Natal. More from her a little bit later.